The line separating PDF readers and note-taking apps is becoming blurry every day. In good notes, multiple instances can open a PDF and a notebook at the same time. The tabs in the application allow you to open even more documents so you can switch between them if you need to. A PDF on one side and a notebook on the other is the simplest way to take notes from a PDF on an iPad. Hey guys, it's Rob Sipek with Paperless X, a channel that is all about digital productivity. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic one, welcome back. For annotation, GoodNotes uses the same tools you'd use for note taking. You can therefore handwrite comments and highlight sections in your PDF. You can also long press some text to highlight or strike out if you highlight your text this way the app only seems to support the yellow highlighter with no option to change the color like any decent note taking app goodnotes deactivates hyperlinks in your pdf when you're using your apple pencil that way you don't accidentally navigate to a different page when annotating your pdf here are some cool features that make goodnotes such a great option for simple pdf reading it recognizes outlines in your PDFs, if your PDF has one. You can create custom outlines, bookmarking pages and adding them to an outline are two different things. You can do both in GoodNotes. You can also filter to choose the outline you want to see, the PDF's outline or your custom one. You can select multiple pages of your PDF to copy, rotate, export or delete them. The application allows you to add blank pages before or after a selected one. The new page can either be an image, scan, or photo as well. You can import a document from files to add to your PDF. You can drag and drop sections of your PDF into your notes. Though this is a two-step process in GoodNotes, at least the application has the option for you to do it. Collaboration lets you work on your PDFs with other people and you can track changes that other people have made. Once you're done working on your PDFs, you have several options to export them. You can export them with active hyperlinks and custom outlines by making them editable. For example, I could export this paperless X digital notebook out of GoodNotes to Notability, and all the links will keep working. You can also enable handwriting recognition to keep your handwriting searchable in other applications. GoodNotes is first a note-taking app, then a PDF reader. It therefore has a few limitations for PDF reading. You can't add space around your pages to add more annotations, so your pages are fixed. You can't annotate PDFs that are in cloud services for the application to update them where they are. You can't merge PDFs. Dark mode does not work on PDFs. You can't create hyperlinks. And big PDFs generally are a problem for PDF readers on the iPad. Let us know what other PDF readers you'd like us to try out for the iPad. Thank you, Fantastic Human, for watching. See you in the next video.